How to use the bottom panel in Darktable. In this video, I'm going to talk about the tools that appear in the bottom panel in Darktable. The bottom panel may not always be visible, but you can click this arrow if you cannot see it. The Guidelines tool allows you to see a variety of composition guidelines such as Rule of Thirds and the Golden Spiral. By right-clicking, you can flip the guides, change the style, and change its color and contrast. Very useful for composition. The light bulb tool isn't really called that, but my wife called it that, and it sounded better than the official name. It displays a white border that gives you a reference for true white and better allows you to see your composition. Because it is pure white, it will help you gauge your exposure and tone levels as well. If you want to learn more about Darktable, we just released an awesome course for beginners with all the essential tools you need to use the program. Check the link in the description below to sign up. The focus peaking tool tries to tell you which parts of your shot are in focus. It barely works. And what do you have eyes for? Just look at the darn photo. The next two tools used for clipping and exposure are actually useful. The raw overexposure indicator shows you what parts of the raw photo are overexposed. The right click menu allows you to change the color that indicates overexposure and set the clipping threshold. Unlike the previous tool, the Clipping Indication tool shows you what parts of your photo are over and underexposed with your editing applied. The right-click menu allows you to choose the gamut mode. Most of the time, this should be in full gamut, but in certain cases you might want to choose other options. You can also define the colors used to indicate the overexposed and underexposed areas, as well as the thresholds that define which areas are over and underexposed. The soft proofing tool allows you to look at your shot with a specific color profile, such as one for a specific kind of display or printer. It is very useful if you are planning to print your photo and your printer provides their own profile. Finally, gamut checking shows how accurate your colors will appear on different displays. The cyan dots show you which colors will be inaccurate on displays that support the selected color profile. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time, but I might not if you don't subscribe.